guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new hi my name is Allison and if you're not then welcome back um, so today I'm gonna be doing a little like mommy get ready with me quick little mommy makeup um, so yeah I am so sorry I did not realize that my heater was so loud um, so throughout the video you're gonna hear it turn on and off constantly and I'm sorry that that happened <laughs> I didn't realize um, so yeah, just excuse that. So really quickly before I get into this, um, I just wanted to mention a couple things. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I used to like really do my makeup and now ever since having a baby and even before then, like I just kind of stopped doing my makeup. I don't do it as much anymore. So um, I used to have a lot of makeup. I used to have like two Alex drawers full of makeup and then I condensed it to one Alex drawer and then now I've condensed it into like one of those plastic like three drawer things um and it's like under my bathroom sink so yeah I have a lot of makeup I need to use I still have makeup that like I've recently bought you know um but I kind of want to do what Cami does and I'll probably just include it in a vlog because I don't think it's too much to like make it its own video but I want to do like a monthly like makeup swap out kind of thing just so I can like use up all my products and because I have a lot in there that like I've either never used or barely used or it's almost finished so I just I want to use up all my makeup and eventually my goal is to have it all in a makeup bag so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that um, I feel like it'd be fun I love when Cami does it I think it's fun to watch her pick through them and then also like just the sound of like going through makeup I don't know what it is it's just it's a satisfying sound to me so let me know anyways Kaysen is napping right now so we'll see how long that lasts for but um um, what am I saying? <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and get into this um, mommy makeup tutorial. So I am gonna be trying a new foundation. I mean kind of trying a new foundation. So I ended up getting the e.l.f. camo CC cream which I loved it. It was amazing. It like looked really nice on my skin. The only thing is I didn't realize I didn't get the right shade. I had put it on in my bathroom and my bathroom has the worst lighting like ever. And the other day I was trying to film this video and I was out here in the living room with all the nice natural lighting coming in um, because Kaysen was here so I was like okay like let me just film it in the living room and I realized that this is not my shade <laughs> and it's too pink um, I didn't go out in public when I wore this the first time um, I just kind of wore it around my house and it looked like it was my shade I even came out into the natural light and I thought it was my shade so I don't know but I was looking like on my phone like on the camera on my phone but with a mirror like you can really like clearly see so this was a little too pink for me um it's in light 210 neutral um I feel like some neutral shades are okay for me but I guess I'm more warm toned I feel like I'm neutral I feel like I've got like pink in my skin and everything um my chest looks I don't know I just feel like I'm neutral maybe I'm cool no I'm definitely not cool toned I've definitely got some yellows in there but I think I'm more warm tone so um, maybe if I mix this with something else it'll be okay or like with a, a different shade from them then it'll be okay but I just went ahead and picked up a warm tone shade so I got this in light to 40 warm um, so hopefully this is my shade and then there's a couple other products that I'm gonna be testing out that I just got um, while I was at the store too I tried going to Ulta but they are closed right now because if you guys live in the Texas area you know that we have this crazy weather going on and um, a lot of like businesses are still not open even though like everything's kind of cleared up there are a few slick spots on the road but like hardly and they're like off to the side you know um, parking lots are a little icy still not too much but yeah I think by tomorrow everything will probably be back to normal um, other than like the grocery stores and gas I tried to get gas today and it was a whole mess okay I'll probably I'll try to talk about that like while I'm doing my makeup um, because if not I'm gonna be sitting here forever anyways um, so the first thing I'm gonna try out is this elf poreless putty primer I called it pudding primer earlier <laughs> I was talking to myself and I was like I'm gonna try out that pudding primer and I was like pudding primer and I was like that sounds really weird um, putty primer Allison putty primer um, so a lot of people suggested to try out the putty primer. I got the pore lace one because I don't like my pores. So we're gonna try it out. It's a putty primer. Ooh, it's interesting. I've never tried anything like this, so. 
I feel kind of weird, but I'm just gonna like rub it in. So yeah, basically the grocery stores are like out of food and um, the gas stations I went to get gas today. I didn't know I needed gas um, and I wasn't like meaning to go like get gas on purpose or anything. I just was driving and I was like, oh, my gas lights on. So I went to go get gas and I went to the Walmart gas station and they were currently like filling it up and everything. And there was like lines of cars and I was like standing there trying to pump gas. Like it would like stop every couple of seconds. And I was like, seriously? And it's because there wasn't any gas and they were currently like filling it. And so um, I was standing there for forever and I only put in like four or five dollars of gas in my tank, which got me a quarter tank of gas. So um, yeah, but I was standing there forever in case and was just not having it. So I was like, you know what? We're done with this. We paid five dollars for gas and we're leaving. But just like everything is busy right now, like grocery stores, gas stations, fast food, everything is busy right now and I don't even understand why. Okay, right, let's see. Mm, I think I like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure like I kind of want to put it like other places but I'm not sure like how that'll work. Like I don't know if it's good for an overall primer but we're just gonna stick with the t-zone for now and we'll use something else okay, so then i'm gonna use this um smashbox primer this obviously takes me way less time to do because normally i'm just like quickly putting it on and i'm not chit chatting and filming a video um so i don't know if i should put this on first and then the putty primer because i feel like i might be moving the putty primer i don't know um but yeah so normally this doesn't take super long so just keep that in mind if you're like watching this tutorial and you're like girl how's this mommy makeup like how do you have the time to do this um i don't <laughs> usually it's like quick okay i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows i'm just using the mac um brows in spiked and i'm just going to quickly fill them in just a little bit I like how i'm using a burp rag to like my hands are like slippery from that primer now. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation. So we're gonna use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Hopefully this matches, I'm a little worried. Um, and I'm gonna use my complexion, I'm gonna use my complexion dual brush. Buff it in. I think, I think this is my shade. This is way better than the first one. I have such a hard time finding my shade, especially if there's no testers. Oh my goodness. Such a hard time. I am not the best when it comes to matching myself. <laughs> I used to let like employees match me too, which they aren't the best either, <laughs> which is actually funny. I feel like I can never find my shade because I always think that I'm darker than I really am or like my face is darker than the rest of my body, but obviously you want to- wow, I look like a ghost. My face is so much darker, especially my forehead, so much darker than the rest of my body. But yeah, obviously you want to match your foundation to like your neck because if you just go off of like the the color of your your like skin on your face, it's not going to always match up to your neck. Like your face might be lighter or darker and then your neck, like when you put it on, you're going to have like super light foundation or super dark foundation and it's just going to like not match up so you want to make sure it blends with the color of your neck and chest um so i might look a little crazy right now okay so i'm not sure if i want to use concealer because i tried to get a new concealer but like i said i'm not the best at matching myself um and i don't think i got the right shade so let's see i got the shade light sand which i thought 
and I got light beige. And this one is medium warm. This is gonna be light beige looks a little too pink for me. So this is the um, camo concealer in the matte finish. Um, and this is, like I said, medium warm. I think this is like the same shade as the foundation or maybe like a little bit lighter or maybe like a little bit darker. I don't know. We're not going to put too much because I think it might be the wrong shade. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to use the sponge. I got a new sponge today. We love new sponges. I think, I think it's like the same shade maybe a little lighter okay well at least we have something so I'm just gonna put that under my eyes a little bit okay and then I'm gonna try the halo glow setting powder everyone told me to try this out too a lot of people suggested a lot of elf products so I got it in light I believe yeah uh, because medium looked too dark and then I didn't want fair and then there was like I think fair was like super pink and medium was super orangey so light was like right in between I think I don't know there was so much makeup I looked at today like I don't even I don't know what I looked at how do I get this off okay. oh no Jason's waking up I think My child's waking up. We have a special guest here. So, um, we'll see if he lets me finish my makeup. <gasps> wow. Look, you wanna play with this one? Yeah? This is what it's like. Wanna play with this one? I'll leave it right here for you, okay? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do bronzer. I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer. I want to try out I don't know once I, I need to use what I have first uh, before I go and buy a bunch of new makeup but I want to try out like the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer I've been hearing a ton of like really good stuff about it lately and then we're gonna do some blue I'm gonna try using like different brushes for things. I've been using like the same brushes for like the same things. Like, I mean, obviously, some of them are still gonna use the same things, but like for blush, I usually use like an angled brush, but I'm gonna try this one out. So, I'm gonna use my Tarte blush in Party. Um, this is the Amazonian clay. I don't even know if they still have this. This is kind of an old blush okay so i just went ahead and did a little bit of eyeshadow off camera um i just did like one color in the crease and then a little shimmer shade i don't do anything crazy anymore um i usually don't even do eyeshadow but i just wanted to try something today so that's why i did it um but now i'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara yeah also am i the only one who didn't know to curl their lashes this way like all my life i've just been curling them like at the root you know like curl and then that's it and then applying mascara but recently i was like okay how can i get my lashes to stay curled because they don't want to stay curled and i watched this tutorial and this girl like curls them at the root and then in the middle and then on the end and like she's like just like slowly like move your way outward and it gives her this like amazing curl. I did it the other day. I didn't put anything on my lashes. I just like curled them and they stayed all the way until the morning. Like I even Sadie. Okay, so my battery just died and I was trying to get Sadie to stop barking because we just got a package delivered. She's still kind of like huffing over here, but anyways, like I was saying, um they stay curled for the longest time. So yeah, I always struggled with like having my lashes stay curled, but not anymore. Do you see the baby in the mirror? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. You wanna play with your toys? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I closed the blinds because it was getting a little too sunny in my face because the sun is setting. 
but um, I know it's sun setting and I'm just now doing my makeup, but I really wanted to try out that makeup and I would have done my makeup earlier for going out, but I didn't have a foundation that matched me. So um, yeah, also this little one is getting grumpy. He just woke up from a nap, so I don't know why he's so grumpy. He's probably hungry, but um, yes, I'm gonna feed him. But I didn't end up putting a lip color or anything on because he's, you know, babies, they don't, they're not patient. They can't be patient. They don't understand, so um, it's fine. <laughs> You're gonna wipe off everything I just did. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was everywhere, but um, hopefully it wasn't. Hopefully it was better than I think it is, I don't know. Also, let me know if you guys wanna see me do like monthly makeup swap outs. Huh. Oh, he's not having it. Uh, monthly makeup swap outs and maybe I can do like a get ready with me on that day or maybe um, I'll just include them in vlogs. So yeah anyways thank you <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one say bye <laughs>